teachers in red states are starting to revolt because of poor pay. Uh, now, according to the uh, Associated Press, John Murphy, uh, reporting from Oklahoma City, a teacher's rebellion that has started in the hills of West Virginia has spread like a prairie fire to Oklahoma and now threatens to reach the desert in Arizona. That's an interesting way of putting it, but I would say an accurate one. Uh, turns out that many Republican states, many red states, are now feeling some pushback uh, after years of giving, of course, giant tax cuts to the rich while starving education. Now, for example, uh, in Oklahoma, uh, the Republican-led legislature approved money for teachers' raises and more school funding, uh, and they had done so by reversing a tax cut and raising taxes on oil and gas. Now, they did that because of threats from teachers uh, that were threatening a massive walkout. Now, on Wednesday night, Oklahoma lawmakers gave final approval to a bill that would generate $450 million in new revenue from a $1 a pack surcharge on cigarettes, increasing the gas tax by $0.03 cents, uh, and $0.06 cents for diesel, and raising taxes on oil and gas production to 5% from 2%. So those last two things, those are actually really, really important. They actually raised taxes on fossil fuel companies. What is this? No effing way. So these teachers in Oklahoma, all they had to do was to threaten, yeah, we're going to do a mass walkout like they did in West Virginia uh, if we don't get some sort of raise because we haven't gotten a raise in years and we can't afford to continue doing our jobs correctly um, and effectively. Their power, their threats got them to raise taxes in the oil industry. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Now, let, me, let me give you some details here. Now, the extra revenue would lo largely go to fund an average $6,100 uh, uh, $6, pay increase for teachers who were, uh, who were planning to walk out of class on Monday. Now, the oil and tobacco industries, of course, lobbied heavily against this bill, and anti-tax advocates uh, who run in these areas, uh, they vowed electoral retribution. Now, let me give you some example uh, or uh, some information about Oklahoma. Um, now, just like in Kansas back in 2010, when there was a Tea Party wave, um, Republicans that got into power decided, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a grand experiment. We're going to cut taxes for the rich. Wait, haven't we been doing that ever since Ronald Reagan? Apparently not this much because uh, Kansas and Oklahoma both cut taxes for the rich to the bone. But don't worry, guys. Uh, they said it will create jobs. It will create all sorts of economic growth. We will have more money in our treasury somehow, uh, magically, uh, and everything will be great. Well, how'd that turn out? Well, it turned out terrible. Uh, for example, in, Can in Kansas... It went so badly that education was at levels lower than what the Constitution uh, of the state actually mandated. And uh, federal judges had to come in and say, you need to boost education, you need to do it now. That's how badly it went. So, of course, that experiment failed in both Kansas and in, and in Oklahoma, and in Kansas, of course, Republicans were forced to actually raise taxes again in order to fund services. Now, let me give you some details, uh, some more details on this. Now, according to Axios, Oklahoma teachers were inspired by West Virginia, uh, which led to teachers' raises. Uh, and, of course, because of that, they, they won. Uh, they actually got their raise, both in West Virginia and apparently in Oklahoma, and now they're coming for Arizona. In fact, teachers in Arizona uh, are now depend, uh, demanding a 20% teacher pay hike. Now, some of the other demands, of course, uh, are restoring state education funding to 2008 levels. Uh, currently, Arizona spends about $924 less per student uh, in inflation-adjusted dollars than it did in 2008. 
So that is a massive cut to education. Now, according to the Joint Legislative Budget Committee, restoring education funding to that level would cost the state about $1 billion, um, of which they would, of course, probably have to raise taxes uh, f uh, in order to do. Now, they also demand competitive pay for all education support professionals, such as teachers, aides, paraprofessionals, uh, and there are, of course, no dollar figures uh, uh, on that. And a permanent step in, uh, step in lane salary structure in which teachers are guaranteed annual raises and steady advancement in wages. And here's another thing that they demand. No new tax cuts until the state's per pupil funding reaches the national average. According to the U.S. Census Bureau's 2015 figures, the most recent available Arizona spent about 7,489 per pupil compared with the national average of $11,392. So they are way behind in spending per pupil. And of course, that leads to less uh, education outcomes in Arizona. So that is the full list of the teacher's demands. Now, whether, that, whether they'll uh, be able to get those demands, well... I'm not entirely sure, uh, but they are certainly going to try for it. It looks like teachers, especially in the reddest states, have finally had enough of not getting paid. Again, Oklahoma, Arizona, West Virginia. Look, in a lot of these states uh, all over the country, teachers have regularly had to take on second jobs. And of course, we've all heard the stories of teachers paying out of pocket for teaching supplies. And this is all in places where corporations have gotten gigantic tax cuts. The rich have gotten gigantic tax cuts. Uh, and trickle-down has been, of course, put into place. Again, Oklahoma, Kansas are the two basic examples of that. And we've seen what has resulted from that. Less money for government, less money for services, uh, and less economic growth. Trickle-down has absolutely failed and has definitely failed our teachers and have and, and in so doing, has also failed our students. Uh, and I think that's the most important part. So I think these uh, teachers are awesome. I think they're brave. I think what they're doing is absolutely great and 100% needed. Yes, we need to fight in order to pay teachers a decent wage for doing what they do. One that they can actually live on without having to take a second job. Um, this is about making sure that Everybody can get by doing their jobs, and that shouldn't be too much to ask, um, especially for, for people that are so important to the future of our country, uh, and that's kids. Um, and the kids got to have an education to be able to, to compete in the world, and for that, we got to have good teachers. So, you know, I, I hope this continues to spread uh, all around the country. And it looks like it looks like it's going to. Um, so, best of luck to the Oklahoma teachers and the teachers in Arizona. Hopefully, you guys can get what you deserve. Hey, everybody! Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreoncom tytnation